Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a little more hockey. 2019-2020 Upper Deck SPX Hockey, five box, half case, uh, random team number four from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Remember I marked all of these RT so we know it's from the same case. A very big thank you to these folks for getting into the action. One spot gets you two teams. And we combo the Florida Panthers and the Minnesota Wild in this one. Let's roll it, let's randomize it. Two and a six, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. After eight times, we've got Scott Corwin down to Chris Rodriguez. <laughs> Jeff and Jack are talking about how great uh, that Gretzky looks right there. Yeah, whoever gets randomized the Oilers. Two and a six, eight times for the teams. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Gretzky, of course, famously said, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. All right, so Penguins down to the Avs after eight. All right, Scott with the Penguins, Craig with the Sharks and the Stars, Steve with the Sabres, SKS with the Blues, Brian with the Flames, Chris with the Senators, Nick with the Islanders, Edwin with the Blackhawks, Scott with the Flyers, there you go, Chris Rodriguez has the Oilers, Stephen Kendrick with the Panthers Wild Combo, Edwin with the uh, Maple Leafs, William with the Hurricanes, Aaron with the Caps, Brian with the Devils, New Jersey Devils, SKS with the Blue Jackets, Steve Birch with the Predators, SKS with the Red Wings, Stephen Kendrick, Stephen K with the Vegas Golden Knights, Chris with the Kings, William with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Aaron, your other last spot mojo uh, team, Rangers, SKS with the Canadiens, Jack with the Coyotes, Nick with the Ducks, Chris with the Canucks and the Jets, Jack with the Bruins, and Chris with the Avs. Let's sort by column B by team. Do we have any trades? No, no trades? No, no trades. All right. TWC trade window closed. Let's print and rip. I remember every pack has at least an autograph or memorabilia card inside. Or a rookie card or something like that. Stature's coming out. There's the final printout. Hot off the presses. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Toner should be here on Monday. I hope, around there. We got a redemption, it's gonna be Brock Besser for the Canucks, I think. Sign your cards, Brock. He is an American professional hockey player coming from the United States, Vancouver. And that'll be for Chris Rodriguez. We got a relic, 009 out of 199. That's Tyler Seguin for the Dallas Stars. That's gonna go to Craig McGinnis.
And we've got 13 out of 99, Leon Dreisettal for the Edmonton Oilers. Uh-oh. Um, we'll send it again. And I'll, I'll, I'll look and make sure I see it so then our team can take a look at it. Make sure you send it to jazbeescasebreaks at gmail.com. Dreisadal goes to Chris and the Oilers. And there's Alex Tuke. Super Scripps autograph. That is for Vegas, the Vegas Golden Knights. And that's going to go to Stephen Kendrick. Stephen K, there you go. That's exactly how I said it, William L. See that how you wrote it. That's exactly how I said it. It's like Carl. It's like Sagan. Why am I saying it's Sagan? Or maybe I'm thinking of who's. Is there a Sadine? Is there a player named Sadine? I know how to say Tyler. <laughs> All right, Sagan. I don't know, why, why doesn't he spell it like Sagan? Winnipeg Jets for this guy. Heinola? Veal? Ville? Heinola? That, that's a tricky one. That goes to Winnipeg. That'll be for Chris. Oh, so maybe I'm thinking of Hendrick and Daniel Sedin, which is why I'm saying it's Seguin. But it's Sagan, like Carl Sagan, but he doesn't spell it like Carl Sagan. There's Ryan Poling, 75 out of 199. It's just my California accent is what's... That's the problem, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's just my... My California accent, I can't say those words. Don't make fun of my California accent. We pronounce Sagan Seguin out here. <laughs> All right, we got Philip Zadina. Zadinia? So Ville, oh Villy, Villy is like Willie, says William. Okay. And we've got Eric Bronstrom for the Senators. Chris Rodriguez with Ottawa. Next one in this hockey adventure here. Clearly hockey, not my strong suit, ladies and gentlemen. So the guys in the chat are patiently <laughs> guiding me through this adventure. It doesn't matter what I say, really, as long as the big hits are pulled, right? Another redemption, it's Ryan... Who's, who said Palin? Someone said it's Palin. I don't believe that, but... Anyway, uh, Ryan is... I'm going to say he's a red team. Come on, red team. I think he's a red team. Canadiens, that's kind of kind of red. That goes to... SKS with Montreal. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to respond to that, Rex. Cool. I. <laughs>
All right, so what's what's this? Kale, Kale, Makar, Maker. I know he's supposed to be pretty good though, hobby wise. It's kind of hard to read that number right there. That six out of thirty-five. It's a good-looking patch there for the Avs, Chris Rodriguez. Kale McCarr. And we've got Trent Frederick. There you go. There you go. Nailed that one. 103 out of 290. More, more, more names need to be like this. That goes to Jack B. and the Bruins. Jack Bruins. That's a cool looking team logo jumbos right there. Morgan Frost. Nice. Nailed that name too. Who does Frost go to? Scott Corwin and the Philadelphia Flyers. Nice Morgan Frost. Next box. I think those are manufactured patches, but they still look pretty cool. Oh, that that's the yeah, I think that's gritty. I was like for a second I was like, what's who is this? Where on on the jersey somewhere they have they have gritty on there? No, it definitely is. You can see his tongue there and the orange fur. But when did they have gritty on their uniforms? I kind of like that. I like that one. That's right, William. Yeah, soul patch. Right under his mouth there. <laughs> Works on many levels. It's also the Philadelphia soul scene of the 70s. All right, shadow box rookies. There's Philip Zadina again. I've seen some of these with autographs inside, in, inside there. Uh, Red Wings, that'll be for SKS with the Detroit. Another shadow box rookies, Philippe Myers. All right, thanks, Freddie. I see it. All right, so since I see it, our team will see it too. We are kind of rolling with a smaller crew, Freddie, with all the craziness, so appreciate your patience. There's Teddy Bluger, 179 out of 299. Uh, that's for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Or if you're Tyler Sagan, then it'd be Pittsburgh Pengains, Pen Gains, according to his family. Pittsburgh Penguins going to Penguins. Scott Corwin. And we got more Morgan Frost. 349 out of 349. Black Diamond Relic going to Scott and the Flyers. Over under on how many kids in the YouTube comments saying... I pronounced that wrong. Scott Corn and the Flyers. There you go. All right. Oh. 
It's not a good, not not a good throw there. Ooh, Kale McCarr, 54 out of 75. Illustrious rookies, patch what three color patch and silver ink auto for the Abs, Chris Rodriguez. Ooh. Now I don't, I may not know much about hockey, but every time I pull something nice of this kid, people get excited. So I'm that gets me excited. There you go. Nice. Congrats. Yeah, everyone in the chat. Scott Core. Wow, says Joe. Scott Core. Nice. Beautiful card, says Jeff Anderson. Nice one, Chris, says Jack B. It's just six, says Drobeck. Uh, see? It's a good one. And we got one for the Blue Jackets. Emil Benstrom. 123 out of 399. Isn't he, isn't Kale Makara a defenseman, Vanessa? I thought you were Jason for a second. <laughs> He's a defenseman, right? Kale McCarr? Kale McCarr, the, the, the abs guy? Why is he so popular? A defensive guy's popular? Oh, okay. A defenseman that scores. All right. I was like, that's probably the reason why, right? Uh, Columbus Blue Jackets, SKS. Right, Joe Drobeck saying he's a generational offensive defenseman. But can he actually defend too? And he leads all rookies in points. But can he also defend? There's Teddy Bluger to 349. That's for the Penguins. That goes to Scott Corwin. And the last one. Good luck, everybody. And that, that, that whole thing's a mess over there. This is not, though. That's John Carlson. Capitals. Extravagant materials relic for Aaron Salinas. And the Caps, a little something for you, Aaron, at the very end. Last spot mojo. And there you have it. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. These SPX hockey breaks are pretty nifty, if I do say so myself. Five boxes, random team number four in the books, 1920 Upper Deck SPX hockey. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.